So you want to own a horse? I put together some terminology that you might see in horse ads, starting with breed. Make sure you do your research. Um, just like uh, dogs, you would not take a chihuahua on a duck hunt. So each horse breed has its own unique characteristics. So do a little bit of research there. AQHA, American Quarter Horse Association. That means the horse is registered in that association. American Paint Horse Association. We have Thoroughbred, TB, Thoroughbred. OTTB, off the track Thoroughbred, probably for a more advanced rider. Appendix, that means a horse that is uh, part quarter horse, part thoroughbred. I have a few of those. Registered means there's a paperwork trail on this horse. You can check its bloodlines and age. Grade means it is not registered. Not a bad thing, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, gated, um, do a little bit of research on this. If you see this term on a horse that you're interested in, uh, some some breeds of horses have a fifth gate that is uh, very unique to that. So it will change things up and I'll do a little episode on that to help you out if you're interested. Age, um, if the horse is not registered and you need proof of age, you can just have a vet check their teeth and they can come pretty close. Uh, color, have a little bit of caution here because prices go skyrocket with really good color. If you're just looking for a nice little horse that you can ride um, and you want to keep the price down, brown horses are just as good as paint horses sometimes. Uh, here's a couple terms of some horses that might um, go up a little bit. Grulo, Roan, um, Buckskin, things like that. Price is going to go up on the horse. HH is hands high. Uh, 14, three and below is pony. About an average horse is around 15, 15, one. When you get into the 16s, um, that's getting into a tall horse. UTD means um, uh, it's up to date on vaccinations. My one suggestion is to find out what vaccinations that may come in handy down the line. Coggins. Um, every horse needs to have a Coggins test once a year. It is a uh, it proves that it's not a carrier of a viral disease that's transmitted by flies. You must have a Coggins to travel out of state. Uh, some boarding facilities, most boarding facilities require it. So um, if you see Coggins, that's what that is. <laughs> uh, stud. Thank <laughs> My you. husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, this means an ungelded male horse. Thank uh, you again. If you are a new uh, horse owner, probably stay away. Uh, gelding, uh, a fixed male horse. Mare, they do not, you do not fix a, a female horse, so a mare is just a female horse. Uh, Philly colt yearling, this has to do with their age. This would be a young female horse. This is a ungelded young male horse. Yearling refers to that it's a year old horse. Sound, this refers to the horse not being sore, lame, limping, things like that. It'll talk about soundness, and this is something you should ask. Uh, lameness, um, you can ask about the lameness history of the horse. Uh, that means the horse might have been sore on a leg, had an issue. Um, cribber, huge issue. Uh, this, um, in my opinion, I need to say that. I always ask when I buy a horse, does this, hor this horse have any history of cribbing? It's a very um, terrible habit that horses pick up. It's chewing on wood and they suck in air. Um, and a lot of times people will not advertise it, but I would ask um, if this horse does that. Uh, husband horse is just another term that you're gonna see for a very safe horse. A horse you put someone on that you want to be safe. Broke is what you're going to be when you buy a horse. You know, when you see B-R-O-K-E in capital letters in an ad, that means the horse is pretty safe and broke to ride. Uh, the temperament of horse, usually it's gauge zero to 10. Zero is the uh, safer, they call it bomb proof even. Uh, 10 would be stay away. I would say the break off point for a new rider would be uh, roughly four. Um, anything under four, you're probably good. 82. Uh, stands for farrier. Uh, farriers are far and few between anymore, so you want to keep them happy. 
Uh, so if you see this, that's definitely a positive thing. Um, this just means horse loads in a trailer typically doesn't have issues loading. Teeth floated. Um, yes, uh, horses have dentists and this needs to be done once a year usually. Uh, so uh, this is something you can ask about. Does this horse have its teeth floated or is that something you're gonna need to take care of? Drives means it's broke um, to harness and drives up pretty cool actually. Barefoot means it's coming without shoes. Um, that just means it doesn't have shoes on. Uh, natural trim Mustang roll, if you see this in an ad, that means it's a little different style of trim. And this is important for you to tell your farrier. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just saying that if you bought a horse with this in the advertisement that you're gonna wanna tell your new farrier that it has this type. They need to change a little bit. Uh, soft mouth, this means that um, the horse, um, you don't need to pull back really hard to control the horse. Um, clips, uh, clips, you can use an electric clipper on them. Usually show horses have that PPE, um, pre-purchase exam. Uh, so this is something you can ask for, for your vet to come and check out the horse. Um, riding level, another thing I would ask for, and to be honest with you, most horse people are pretty honest. They want, if they're selling a horse, they want their horse to go where it belongs. So you can say, hey, what, what is the riding level that someone needs to have to ride this horse? And they might say, a beginner would be fine, intermediate, advanced. Most horse owners are pretty honest, so this is what I would ask. Um, if you see well-built, that has to do with confirmation and that you're something you're gonna have to decide how important it is to you. Are you showing this horse or are you just plopping along a trail? Thank so, you again on that one. EPM, uh, you're gonna have to ask, if you check a vet history of a horse, um, if you see this, this is a neurological uh, disease that's passed on to horses from possum feces and it's, it's pretty bad. So um, this is something, if you see this in there, definitely ask some questions about it. Um, find out the history of that, of that horse. Green uh, means probably had a saddle on, maybe rode a little bit, but definitely needs a lot of work. And I think we're getting closer. Project horse, same thing. Um, probably needs to go to someone more advanced. Am I getting close? 30 days, if you see 30 days, uh, 90 days, 60 days, it just means this horse has had some um, professional training. And last but not least, ground manners. That means that you can lead this horse around pretty safely and it's not gonna trample all over you or pull away. And feel free to ask any questions in the comments and let me know if I missed anything. Thank you.